Hey everybody, today we're going to look at, uh, oops, sorry, a little shaky there. We're going to look at Night Quest The Search, Part 4. This is um, taking place in Shadow of the Bat, uh, December, uh, I'm sorry, November 22nd, December 1993, Part 2 of 3. Um, and this focuses on Bruce Wayne undercover. But before we jump into Night Quest here, I want to give a little special shout out here. And you see I've got my uh, Funko Pop Flash collection out. I got the Black Flash and... The new 52 Flash, Classic Flash, Jay Garrick. Um, I guess he's Classic Flash too. But um, the reason why I got this out is I want to give a special shout out to Caden HD. So go to his YouTube channel and check it out here. There it is. And you can see he's got new Flash videos every week. And Caden was nice enough to make a cool shout out video to the Robin. Everyone loves the Drake channel. And so thank you so much. And that is so awesome. And also, while you're there, check out Maury HD. Maury also is a huge Flash fan, so um, I put up the pops for those guys. And uh, Maury's uh, made some nice comments and, and give some words of encouragement to the Robin Everyone Loves the Drake site. So thank you guys so much. And with the Flashes looking at us, let's jump into our issue. And so here we got a cool Brian Stelfreeze cover. Writer Alan Grant, Brent Bevelins did the pencils, and Steve George the inker. Um, and... The story starts out, and it's, it's a long way from Gotham City here. We're in a, a English countryside, and we're in a really fancy convertible. And um, you can see that's a mirror there. And Bruce Wayne's putting on makeup and disguises, and he's going to disguise himself as an old Englishman who's just come back from Africa and been injured. Um, but to get into the party tonight, to try to get into that party... Oops, sorry, it's a little blurry here, at the castle and try to find Chandra and see what's going on here and Jack Drake. Um, and as they're driving up, Alfred's talking about how England's just not the same anymore. And they see some people um, fox hunting, which if you don't know about fox hunting, it's it's pretty despicable. They, they chase the fox to exhaustion and then the dogs rip them apart. So there are some eco-terrorists here getting ready to interrupt the fox hunt and they kind of... Uh, disrupt everything and um we spray uh some nasty essence in the uh hunter's face so that the dogs will chase him instead and so bruce wayne comes out and here is one of the eco-terrorists are down and is about to get beaten bruce wayne stops and prevents him and says this is not how an english gentleman does it and you can kind of imagine the the english accent and of course bruce is where using the two canes not just because for effect because Bane had broken his back and he's recovering here. But even with a broken back and a couple of canes, Bruce Wayne can kick some butt here. And he really puts a beating to these guys. And he questions the um, eco-terrorist and he sees, aha, that's George Cross. George Cross, if you remember, was the hood from the last issue. So Batman, he's pretty smart. They know what's going on. He wonders if George Cross recognizes Alfred. And... He knows George Cross read the file and is looking into Benedict Asp, the same reason why Bruce Wayne is. So then the kind of page, they kind of go on and you see the hood checking them out. We know there's a lot more going on. Then this is a really cool ad here. I think um, Kevin Smith has talked about this poster by Joe Quesada on his uh, interview with Joe Quesada. It's a really cool angle. But anyway, um, so then we go back. It gives us a little reminder that Chandra's got this healing power, and if this guy cuts himself, he'll heal again, but that they're actually absorbing the healing power to make a death ray. Um, and here's Tim Drake's dad, Jack Drake. Not doing too good. Chandra's looking after him. So then this, we get a little bit here. This There's a couple pages. It's just kind of filler. Just let you know that Bruce is making his way to the to get an invite to the party, just kind of the background of his disguise. He puts a little listening device there and then kind of heads out. Um, and then we see them kind of testing the death ray and how it will kill people. Um, so then Bruce is a little upset because he can't um, really hear the listening device. He's too far away. So he knows he's got to go closer to the castle, and as he's leaving, some kids are playing cricket, and the ball's coming right to his head, but he's still got those those Batman reflexes, and he sees, like, a helicopter, and he knows that's not good news, because the hood is also checking that out, and he sees it's no good, too, and he sees that this is some government agents from Britain 
They want the death ray. It's a secret project no one knows about. Bruce is finding out about this. He knows it's a secret passage. And he knows he's got to try to find Chandra tonight at the party. We see a little bit more of Sandra practicing um, healing, which and then we've got a little bit of the party. And then here's the big conclusion here. We see the death ray going out. It looks like it's killing everyone in the whole town. It's really cool art. Really cool how they did the, the overlay. And there's like skulls in here and faces. And it's not, not good. And Bruce knows this. And he's trying to find out what's going on. And as he's walking, he sees Chandra. And then as they go around here, he goes right for her. And he says, Sandra, it's me. And she says, I don't know. You leave me alone. Which I don't know if that's because she doesn't recognize the disguise. Or she does, but she wants to try to save Bruce Wayne. And so next issue, The Curse of the Bat. So, see you guys next time.